Maybe the game of the week in the group of five is South Alabama at Tulane. Tulane, six and a half point favorites on Saturday night. You can find this on ESPNU at 7 p.m. Uh, Tulane and South Alabama are two huge conference favorites um, and two of the most talented teams in the group of five, certainly in contention for a New Year's Six Bowl if things were to break their way. Trey, you, you've got it said that this is one of the best games of the week uh, in your mind. Uh, tell the folks what they should expect. And, you know, six and a half, it's, it's a one-score game. To me, these two teams are more evenly matched than that. Is that number too big for you? It's a little too big for me. I'm going to go ahead and take South Alabama plus the six and a half. And if you don't know a lot about these two teams, of course, Tulane burst onto the scene in – the Cotton Bowl last year, knocking off USC in an upset win. That was just awesome to be at and see live, but just a really, really fun team last year. They bring back their coach. They bring back Michael Pratt at the quarterback position. They do lose Ty J Spears, who was a huge, huge part of their offense, not just in that Cotton Bowl game, but all year long. So it's going to be really interesting to see who steps up to fill that gaping hole on the offensive side of the ball. But then you look at South Alabama and their defense – was just fantastic last year. They were a really great defensive-minded uh, team. Uh, ran through the Sun Belt, did a really great job in that conference. They didn't get to play James Madison in the championship. I really would have loved to see that matchup in the Sun Belt uh, last year. But, yeah, just the defense is going to be really, really solid for the Jaguars and something to really watch. I- I'm excited to see these two, those two sides of the ball match up because you got maybe the best G5 quarterback in the country – matched up against maybe the best defense G five defense in the country. It's going to be a really exciting game because of those two units. I'm going to just lean into the number. I'm going to take South Alabama plus the six and a half and uh, kind of roll with the underdog. This one. Yeah. Trey, I took Tulane minus six and a half. I love what they're bringing back. Obviously losing Ty J Spears. That's, I mean, that's your best player on offense last year and he's looking real good. If you're watching some of those preseason games and what he's been able to do, he's starting to look real good in the NFL as well, but I'm still taking Tulane. Minus the six and a half. Really impressed with what they did last year. Not to take anything away from South Alabama, but I just think I'm going to roll with what they're bringing back. They did pretty well in the transfer portal as well. I think they did. uh, So they picked up some big pieces that are going to help that team out a lot. So I look for them to maybe be a little bit more pass heavy this year, pass the ball a little bit more. But um, no, I'm still going to pick Tulane. Minus the six and a half in this one. uh, Kind of keep the ball rolling from last year. And and I mean, that place is going to be super, super fun uh, to be at. You know, it'd be my you know desired travel to game this week if i could only pick one that wasn't local i'd probably want to go there just purely based on vibes alone after what they just did last season i I can't wait to watch this one i think this is certainly going to have to occupy some some real estate um at our watch party on saturday night i'm going to take south alabama plus the number as well and it's for two reasons one i don't know that tulane's defense is going to be as good as it was a season ago Two, Trey, you mentioned South Alabama's defense is good, but their offense is a ton of fun as well. Yeah. Carter Bradley threw for over 3,000 yards last season, threw, threw a couple more interceptions, I think, than folks would, would have liked, especially late in the season, but still 28 touchdowns to his name. Um, and then you've got your first and your third leading receivers from last year's team coming back. Uh, Devin Boyson uh, had almost 900 yards on 60, what was it, 64 catches five touchdowns, and then uh, Colin Lacey was third on the team as well. So they've got a lot of continuity in their skill position players, and the defense does as well. I kind of think South Alabama might be the better team. They're going on the road, but better team uh, with a more explosive offense in my mind. Give me the Jaguars uh, plus the six and a half Saturday night. Gracious. How about that? 